Today, we're going to talk about how to look younger. Now, if you tell people what to do without the why to do it, a lot of times they'll, they won't do it. So today I'm going to go into the why as well as what to do. This information is good for new people as well as those people who have been watching my channel for quite some time. So to look younger on the outside, you really have to be younger on the inside. Now, and when we're dealing with a youthful look, we're dealing with targeting the accumulation of damaged proteins, okay? So the more damaged proteins you have uh, internally and externally, the older you're going to look. And so I'm going to talk about a lot of different parts of this puzzle, but let's start with this term AGEs. What is AGEs? Stands for advanced glycation end products. Now, what the heck is that? That is a combination of a sugar molecule with a protein molecule. When you take sugar and protein and you heat them up, you end up with these AGEs. Okay. So basically proteins that are now damaged and unavailable, and they can create a lot of problems throughout the body, but they can also make you look really old. Now, AGEs could also be a combination of glucose and fat heated as well. So let me just kind of make this really simple. If you were to consume this thing called ice cream, for example, you're basically heating um, glucose, lactose, uh, sugar uh, with milk proteins, uh, very high heats. Boy, you're just consuming a product that is just loaded with these AGEs. So ice cream would be a perfect combination of fat and sugar heated. Another one would be barbecued ribs, right? You take these ribs protein and you put all this sugar sauce on it and you heat it. And this is the product when someone consumes a barbecued ribs, um, they might notice about an hour later that their, their body is sluggish. They have a lot of sinus issues. And so this is why it's so important when you're making barbecued ribs, use a sauce that doesn't have sugar. Use spices like a dry rub that has no sugar, just spices and sea salt. Now, what about a soda? Yeah. When you have all the sugar and you have caramel coloring and you heat the soda, boy, you're not just going to get uh, the consumption of these AGEs, but all the sugar in your body with the temperature of 98.6 is going to combine with your own blood proteins, for example, and other proteins and create all this damage protein binding combinations. In fact, when you get your A1C tested, you're measuring the accumulation of excess glucose in your bloodstream over a period of three months. So when you get your A1C and it's high, it just tells us how much glycation is going on in your red blood cells. You need to be in the lower fives, not six, seven, eight. Uh, I've had people had 11. All that means is they're exposing their blood to a lot of sugar, creating glycation. And that protein now is uh, damaged and it's going to clog a lot of things up. All right, now let's take a French fry, which is a starch, which is basically kind of uh, all these glucose molecules stuck together. And then it also is deep fried in fat. Okay. So we have fat plus the starch deep fried equals a tremendous amount of AGEs. So if you want to look really old real fast, keep consuming fries. Then you have potato chips, right? Same deal. Starch with some oil deep fried, not good. How about a donut, right? You have this deep fried donut. Boy, you have refined carbohydrate with probably like corn oil or soy oil or whatever type of oil they use. Oh my gosh, deadly. I remember going to um, the Kutztown Fair in Pennsylvania where they had deep fried ice cream, deep fried potatoes and deep fried Oreos, deep fried everything. In fact, you don't see a lot of young people walking around on that uh, fair. Now, what about a burger, right? Hamburger. Well, we have this meat with ketchup and then we have uh, a bun. Of course, we want to add fries to that and a Coke. Wow. You talk about AGEs on steroids, a perfect deadly combination to look older really quick. And then you have pretty much every combination of fast food um, that you would find in a fast food restaurant. You have Chinese food, you have Mexican food. These are all examples of AGEs. And these are things that make you older. And these are the things that you need to avoid. Okay. Let's talk about how to get rid of AGEs from your body. Okay. Well, there just so happens to be a condition called autophagy, which is like a, an oven that can cook and break down AGEs, damaged proteins, and old proteins, as in old skin cells, and it repurposes these proteins. So autophagy stands for auto, meaning self, phagy means eating. So your body is eating its own proteins in a way. It's repurposing and recycling old damaged proteins and making new ones. So autophagy is really good for AGEs. It's good for old wrinkled skin. 
and it's an essential condition to make you younger. And the biggest way to get into autophagy is through fasting, okay? Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, I would highly recommend starting with intermittent fasting. I put some links down below. But for those of you that have been watching my channel that are doing fasting already, let's say you're doing two meals a day. I would recommend going to one meal a day. That's called OMAD. Now, for those of you that are doing OMAD, I would recommend to do what's called dry OMAD. Now, what's dry OMAD? I'll be doing some videos on this topic, but dry fasting, which is basically not consuming any water as well as no food, creates a compounding effect. It's like three times as powerful. So if you're going to do dry OMAD, you would drink no water all day, except at night when you have that one meal. But a lot of people are doing dry fasting for more than just one day. They're doing it for two days, three days, four days, up to seven days or a longer because you can generate water from your fat cells. Now, I'm not going to get too much into that in this video, but it's very, 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 very powerful, but it's more advanced. And so I don't recommend it unless you've done regular water fasting for a period of time. But if you want to take it to the next level, you want to start doing dry fasting with OMAD. So I highly recommend if you want youthful skin to get a certain amount of sun, okay? But just make sure you don't go to the burning level. There's certain types of light frequencies or wavelengths like infrared that tend to buffer the damaging effect of UV light. And so the benefit of infrared wavelengths uh, can be extremely beneficial to looking youthful because it's gonna generate a lot of melatonin. And if you haven't seen my video, on that topic, I put it down below, but melatonin is not all about sleep. It's about being an antioxidant and getting rid of free radical damage. Uh, all of your cells uh, can make melatonin. And so there's two types of melatonin, one for sleep, one for antioxidants. And one way to generate that is through sunlight. You just wanna make sure you don't overdo it, but regular exposure to sun is extremely beneficial to looking younger. And that's one of the problems in the winter when you can't get sun, you tend to look a bit older and pasty and um, you don't have that uh, youthful glow. Now let's talk about environment, okay? Your environment is just filled with chemicals, poisons, drugs. I mean, it's just really hard to avoid that. Thank goodness we have li our liver that can dismantle these poisons, okay? It can dismantle heavy metals. It can dismantle uh, pesticides and insecticides, pollution. Um, chemicals in your in the water, chemicals in the food. And that's called phase one, phase two detoxification, okay? And so your liver has certain enzymes that can be boosted with certain foods to help get rid of poisons. So a really important part of looking youthful is having a healthy liver. If your liver is cirrhotic or filled with um, cirrhosis, scar tissue, or it's filled with fat or it's inflamed, uh, you're gonna look old. So Anything you can do to strengthen the liver is going to make you look younger. And there's a couple of things I'm going to just mention right now. Cruciferous vegetables, okay? They have certain um, phytonutrients that can boost your natural enzymes to help phase one, phase two detoxification. Okay, so that's number one. Not to mention vegetables giving you antioxidants directly to help uh, act as a scavenger or like a sponge to clean up all this free radical damage that's occurring due to inflammation or chemicals or heavy metals, et cetera. So as you add more cruciferous vegetables like kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, arugula, I like arugula in my salads, you are going to create a healthy liver. And the thing about the youthful look, it has to be created continually, okay? A lot of times people just neglect this creation of health and then they wonder someday they, what happened to my body. But it has to be continually created every single day. Now, a lot of these poisons and chemicals and toxins that come through the liver, um, you need bile to help eliminate these toxins. So bile is very, very important in that youthful look, not just in the elimination of toxic waste, but also in the extraction of fat soluble vitamins, which you need desperately to look youthful, like vitamin A, E, D, and omega-3 fatty acids, which is not a vitamin, but it's just a uh, essential nutrient, which all these fat soluble compounds that you need to make the skin look useful is dependent on this bile. So if you don't have enough bile because of various reasons, let's say you have a fatty liver, let's say you're on a low fat diet because fat stimulates bile, or you have some type of, you know, let's say you had gallstones and you, you removed your gallbladder. 
So a bile deficiency will cause you to end up with uh, a deficiency of the fat soluble vitamins and omega-3 fatty acids, all the things that you really need to look youthful. So this is why a combination of enough bile and consuming enough fat to get these fat soluble vitamins are really necessary to have that youthful look. This is why people going on a low fat diet end up looking older because they don't have the benefits of the vitamin A, D, E, and omega-3 fatty acids. So let's just touch on the type of fat that I'm talking about. I'm talking about like fatty fish, like salmon, amazing for omega-3 fatty acids, which is essential for the anti-inflammatories and to counter all the omega-6 fatty acids that are also in our diet, like the uh, corn oil, canola, soy oil, the cottonseed oil. It's in just so many foods. It's in foods that you're going to find when you go out to eat and all that creates a lot of inflammation and it just makes you look older. In fact, it, it affects the eyes as in age related macular degeneration, which is very, very, very common and just having older looking skin, but fatty fish is very, very important. Okay. Uh, the second thing is egg yolks. You're going to get a lot of good uh, vitamin A from egg yolks, and you're also going to get uh, choline in egg yolks. That's great for a fatty liver and to help you regulate cholesterol. There's lecithin in egg yolks too, which help regulate cholesterol because people are as concerned about the cholesterol in egg yolks, but it has the antidote to that cholesterol as well. And also, by the way, you need foods high in cholesterol to build healthy um, membranes in your cell, to build healthy sex hormones that make your skin look youthful, like testosterone and estrogen. You need all that good cholesterol to make healthy looking skin. This is why people that are on cholesterol medication like statins end up looking really old and they end up having a lot of side effects with the muscles and inflammation and they can't make bile. You need cholesterol to make bile. Bile is just so important. And one thing you start doing too is start taking purified bile salts to help extract some of these um, fat soluble nutrients from the cells if you're deficient. So egg yolks, very, very important. Butter, butter can give you a lot of vitamin A. Don't be afraid to consume butter. Just make sure it's grass fed. And then we get to vitamin E. Now, the best source of vitamin E is sunflower seeds, but it's also in the leafy greens. It's in nuts. It's in vegetables. Okay. So uh, vitamin E is very, very important in skin as well as internally. Now, another good oil would be cod liver oil. Cod liver oil has vitamin D as well as vitamin A, as well as omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. So cod liver and cod liver oil, very, very important as well as beef liver too. I personally can't eat it because I don't like the taste, but if you like liver, liver and onions, go for it. Uh, organ meats are loaded with these fat soluble vitamins. Extra virgin olive oil, very, very important. Avocados, avocado oil, awesome for your skin. So in other words, you don't want to go low fat. There's a diet, which I don't recommend by the way, it's called ideal protein. Now it's keto, it's low carb, but it's also low fat. So it's not really from my definition, a healthy version of the ketogenic diet. And if you ever look at someone who's done the ideal protein diet, boy, do they look old. Their, their hair, their skin it looks all dried out. It doesn't look youthful. So you might lose weight, but you don't look healthy. Now there's one little interesting thing I want to tell you about um, vegetables. Okay. You might not think that there's much fat in vegetables, but a lot of the phytonutrients like chlorophyll, like carotenoids, and the list goes on and on and on, are all fat soluble. So to extract these wonderful antioxidants, as well as amazing phytonutrients, you need bile and you also need to eat them with fat. So when you have a salad, put the extra virgin olive oil on it. When you're consuming um, a cruciferous vegetable, put some olive oil on it. Consuming the greens with an oil will help you extract these wonderful phytonutrients, which not only are loaded with the antioxidants, but they also help that phase one, phase two detoxification we've talked about. And by the way, phytonutrients also help stimulate autophagy. Okay. On the topic of free radical damage. Okay. In order to handle excess amount of free radical damage uh, and oxidation, which makes you look older, there's two types of antioxidants. There are endogenous antioxidants, which are antioxidants that your body makes. Okay. And then there's exogenous antioxidants which you get from food. Okay. So if you, you need to consume a lot of greens and vegetables to get those antioxidants, but your own body has antioxidant networks, 
which increase when you exercise, which increase when you do fasting. So fasting helps you with just about every aspect of looking useful. And so every time you do fasting, you actually increase antioxidants internally. Pretty cool. Now I've already mentioned about the combination of glucose and protein and glucose and fat, but just glucose in general, okay. Consuming a high carb diet is probably the fastest way to look older, because if you ever take a look at a diabetic, boy, they age so fast. The sugar is like rust and it oxidizes, not just the inside of your arteries and the eye and the nerves and the brain and the kidney, but your skin, it'll make your skin look really old. And every time you consume glucose of any kind, you also at the same time block vitamin C. The chemistry of vitamin C is very similar to glucose. And so you're blocking vitamin C, which is another powerful antioxidant. And you're also depleting other antioxidants from your body when you consume sugar and like vitamin B1, which is also an antioxidant. And you're basically just making your skin look really, really old, very fast. And of course, if you smoke, you're really depleting these antioxidants and vitamins, especially vitamin C that the requirement or demand for antioxidants and vitamin C and other vitamins go way up. If you're a smoker, because you're putting all this pollution internally. So one way to age prematurely is just to keep smoking. So if you're a smoker, do whatever you can to, you know, kick the habit. But in the meantime, if you're making this transition and you're coming off smoking, or let's say you're um, coming off alcohol, which is another way to age very fast, you want to take a lot of antioxidants, not from a pill, but from food. You want to consume a lot of greens to, and do a lot of fasting and do all the things that I'm talking about to counter all this free radical damage that's occurring in the body. Now, another point I want to bring up is this thing called stress. Stress puts your body into two situations. One, it puts your body into a glucose situation where your, your body is now um, tapping into glucose as fuel. It's turning things into glucose. So even though you got off carbs, you're still consuming carbs if you have a lot of stress. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is that it's creating a catabolic or a breakdown effect of proteins, uh, your skin. So one way to age is just to go through a lot of stress. So you're going to have to actively work hard at countering the amount of stress in our environment. Unfortunately, you can't escape it, but you can do things to counter it and slow it down. You can actively and aggressively do continual regular exercise. You can do a lot of fasting, both intermittent and prolonged fasting. You can do physical work, which is probably one of the best ways to counter stress. You can work on improving your sleep. Okay. And one really great technique is to control your breathing, start breathing through your nose, especially when you're sleeping and slow down your breathing. I, I have a really good video on that. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link down below, but controlled breathing can pull you out of a panic attack and really keep your stress under control. But stress is another factor that I need to bring up because it's a really important thing. The other point I want to bring up is um, protein. You want to make sure the protein is quality. So organic, grass-fed, well-caught, fatty fish, seafood is important for uh, quality proteins as well as trace minerals, which help the skin. Then we have pasture-raised eggs, very, very important versus the commercial eggs. Then you have wild-caught uh, animal products. And then we also get to the amount of protein. A healthy ketogenic plan is a moderate amount of protein. It's not a high protein diet. What do you think happens when you consume excessive amounts of protein that you're not converting into body proteins? Well, that protein is then used for fuel and it's also creating a lot of waste in your body. So it's very important not to overdo it on the protein if you want to look useful. So I'm not recommending going low protein, just a moderate amount. A real simple rule of thumb would be the amount of protein on the palm of your hand times two, if you're male, or just times one, if you're female, just to keep it really, really simple, that would be a moderate amount of protein. And then the last point I want to bring up is your microbiome, your microbes in your gut help make fat, fatty acids called short chain fatty acids, which are really important in controlling blood sugars, in making your insulin more sensitive in getting rid of insulin resistance. They also make vitamins, B vitamins. They also make factors that help your immune system and decrease inflammation. And on top of that, they make secondary bile. So they help you make bile 
which is also very, very important in the extraction of the fat soluble vitamins. So having a really good microbiome is so essential in that youthful look. And one of the best foods for establishing this microbiome is fermented vegetables. So like the sauerkraut, probably the best food for your skin, but there are other types of things like pickles and other fermented vegetables that are very, very important because they give you the prebiotic and the probiotic at the same time. All right. I packed a lot of information in this video. I hope you took notes, watch it again, implement this stuff for that youthful look. But the next most important video to watch is on autophagy. So check it out. I put it right here.